Welcome to season number 31 of Friday Night's Protection. That got me pumped up right there. That's the handiwork of Derek Smith. He's our editing ninja, of course, and Zach Werchek, who's in the band Elephant Gun Riot, did the music for us. Pretty nice to have those guys in-house where they can just throw that stuff together, right? Does that get you ready for some football? Yeah, glad they're part of our team. Right. I, I got to admit, Google Maps, still a friend. Year two for me, <laughs> but I did, I did use it. I mean, I was up north in Chileam. I mean, I catch a break this week. Hopefully next week, not so much the Google Maps. So. See, I still haven't figured my way around, so Keith kept me local. That's why he sent you <laughs> up and all around to all the games. I just stayed in the areas I knew and, of course, just following his direction. Directions. Now, because of what happened today, we have a new segment of the program. We may keep it, we may not, but we're going to start the show tonight with the star of the night. The star of the night tonight, the weather. My goodness, lightning everywhere. Rain delays, lightning delays all over the area, causing problems in our rundown, causing problems with highlights, but we saw this all over the area. Teams running for cover because lightning was everywhere tonight. So, we survived, the players survived, and hopefully this show is going to survive because we kind of lost some games today thanks to those delays. <laughs> so, we're going to find out how your number 31 starts. And I'm kind of excited to see what happens, just like you are. <laughs> they did play football, though, in some places. That's the good news, like over in Idaho. Coeur d'Alene and CV, some of the best in the state. And Batman, you can't go wrong, a little early for Halloween now. Second quarter of this thing, Colson Yankoff bobbles the snap, and he'd pay for it. Gets waxed, they lose a bunch, and punt it away. But the Bears give this thing right back. Yeah, that's, that's going to be an INT. Must be the first game of the year or something. Ensuing possession. Let's play a game. Where's Waldo? He's in the end zone. Joe Vang, the beneficiary, makes it 22 to nine at CDA. Then later in the second, Yankoff. The Oregon Ducks commit shows why. Turns on the afterburners. Will, what do you think? That's it. I like it. Looks good to me as the lead swells to 20. Second stanza here though. The Bears defense is gonna come to life. The rain falls and so does Yankoff. That's a turnover on downs. The ball belongs to CV. But guess what? Guess what they're going to do here? Another mistake. The bump fake. There it goes. He doesn't bite on. Instead, he gets the pick and the W as CDA. They roll big time. 48 to 11. The final score there. How about Lewis and Clark at Lake City? We'll stay in Idaho. Cheerleaders pumped up. They should be. It's kind of their job. First quarter, Lake City with the ball. Grant Clark knows where to go with the rock. 6 nothing Lake City. No extra point. Plenty more on that later. Lake City deep in their territory. Matt Dukow is going to look, look, and find. Come on. Ah, nobody. Bryce and Duncan, give him a hug, huh? LC, they would capitalize. Dukow returns the punt and going to take it, if we're showing you the highlight, all the way to the house here. A touchdown on that play. Again, no extra point. Still first quarter. Lake City looking to move the ball. That's not going to do it. James Arrigan with the sack on the play. Same drive, though. Dukow. Cox back and fires it. Jason Piard hauls it in to make it 12 to 6. You guessed it, no extra point. Come on. Lake City with the ball again, standing on their own 40. The handoff to Clark is cutting like crazy. 40 yard gain on the play. Three plays later, Clark gonna finish the job here. 18 to 6, Lake City. Blair Walsh kicking out there? What's happening? Oh, oh. <laughs> Had to. Time winding down to the first. Lake City strikes again. Dukow got to keep it himself. Good decision there. Pays off. Five touchdowns in the first. Five two-point attempts. Zero completions. Uh, math, I'm not good either. Lake City wins it. 51-6 to six, the final. Last year, we created the Jace Malik Award for Toughness. The first ever recipient, head coach Jeff Hines of Post Falls. Unfortunately, we lost Coach Hines this offseason. So all this year, his Trojans playing in his honor. Rocking those decals, you see the JH. Awesome look there for Post Falls. They take on Mead. Panthers showing out. Lucas Bacon, he's got the Arby's on his mind. He's got the Meads. Touchdown grab at 6 3. Then after a Trojan turnover, Peyton Laux to Joseph Heitman. He got some height. Panthers cruising. Trojans looking to mount something on offense. That's when Cody Connell comes out of nowhere on third down. Another peak. The corner blitz, and that is laying the wood. Back to the O. Who doesn't love more bacon? Lucas putting on a clinic tonight. How about that grab? Panthers rolling this one. Your final score, 41-3. to three. First game up at Joe Albee Stadium between Deer Park and Rogers. 
Pirates on the attack early. Eric McKay takes it off the right side, turns it up the sideline. He's going to be tripped up. Great gain, though, 37 yards. The drive would stall out. Second quarter, Rodgers on offense again. Zach Phillips goes up top. What a catch by Colin Axtell. But again, they would stall. Deer Park finishing their drives. This is Tyson Lim. Punches it in from three yards out. Stags take the lead. On the dreaded ensuing kickoff, shield your eyes, Shalmar Teasley. Oh, goodness! Rocked by Weston Dean. Ball comes out. Stags recover, and they would punch it in. Deer Park takes this one 23 to nothing. One of the cool parts about early season football is you have non-league games. So you have GSL teams stepping down to play teams in other classifications. So teams like North Central get to play a game on grass. Heading out to Keith Oso Field to Spokane Valley. They're not going to be afraid of any lightning out there. How about early in the first, Knights on the move. Christian Johnson swings out to Colin Spendlove. What a great name. Up the sideline he goes, stays at bounds, breaks a tackle, looking for six, but oh, steps out of bounds right there. No problem. Threw it to spin love once. Let's do it again. The only problem is he tries to tip it to himself, and there's Ryan LeBlanc who takes it away for an amazing interception by North Central. But the Indians would give it right back. Matt Mickey's going to throw the ball over the middle. Great hands here by Quinton Town. He's there for the pick. Ball back to East Valley. Tell me if this looks familiar, though. More trouble on offense. Johnston is in a world of hurt in the backfield. Going down for the sack. Gets rid of it. Maybe he shouldn't have. Tips oh. it off a one defensive back into the hands of Daquan Noble. The pick is there, but yes, even at East Valley, lightning delay. After the delay, the Indians come back. They win this game 14-6. to Let's head back to Joe Alby Stadium. Got a really late start. Everyone trying to stay dry in the late game. Peninsula in town on the attack. Burt Griffin swings oh. out. Look at that hit right there by Jared Mary. Looks like a scoop and score. Oh, but it's incomplete pass. See, I was trying to get on the board. Griffin with nobody to throw to. So Ryan Alm is going to be there for a big sack in the backfield. Nice job by the Wildcats. More Seahawk miscues. Randy Rung is going to strip the football, but Peninsula recovers. Oh, mercy. How about some more chances for the defense? Griffin's going to go deep, but Jagger Jacoby is there for the interception. There's no offense in this game at all. Every time they threw it, something bad happened. So Peninsula says, we're not going to throw it anymore. We're just going to hand the ball to Cameron Lewis, takes up the gut, and he is gone, just like my breath right now. He's gone. <laughs> That's a touchdown for Peninsula. Seahawks come to town. They win this one 22 to nothing. I'm a little worked up right now, guys. All these lightning delays kind of <laughs> threw me out tonight. When we come back, we're going to have more football, but we got to take a breather right now. We'll again explain what these T-shirts are all about, how you can nominate someone for the awesome Jace Malik Award for Toughness. That's coming up next, Friday Night Sports Extra, season number 31.